Okay, first thing I'd like to ask about is if you could elaborate on this topic you mentioned, tonalogia. Tonalogia is a word. If we break it down, it would be tonan, and uh, logia means the study of, like, it'd be like psychology or immunology, right? And so this would be the same suffix from the Latin added to the Indian word, the tonan, the, the native uh, Mesoamerican word for the manifest world, okay? And so tonalogia is a study of the alignment of the heart, mind, body, and spirit in the mundane world. And what it's for is basically for self-help. It's not part of the uh, higher consciousness studies per se. It's uh, much like the four agreements. It's a, a, an easy way for people to learn a tool in the case of the four agreements, the tool was, you know, the four agreements. In this case, it's the four elements that need to be aligned in a human. And those elements, according to my grandmother, were the heart, mind, body, and soul, okay, and spirit. And so uh, alignment of these four, the heart, the mind, the body, and the soul, is essential if you just want to move forward in life, frankly. Most people spend most of their lives with some kind of interior conflict, their mind saying two different things at once, them wanting to be courageous but being afraid, them wanting to be disciplined but being lazy, them wanting to, to have meaning and purpose in their life but they have no information, or people, you know, uh, they have a broken heart or, or their heart is not aligned with any part of the world or with anybody else. And you can see how there's a lot of problems. So basically it's, it's kind of like psychology for the 21st century. This way of looking at things has been around since the beginning. Our way of, uh, our way, you know, the psychiatrist's way of DSM-4 and trying to put people into these diagnostic categories largely now for insurance purposes. Well, that's just ridiculous. And it's patently ridiculous. And it's a, an embarrassment that we even thought that that could happen. And of course, they were saying that about the DSM uh, three, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual three, that you know this can't work. This is ridiculous. Human beings can't be put into you know paper bags with labels on them like this. There's no human that's that's simple enough to do that with. Well, that's true, but they all have hearts, they all have minds, they all have bodies, and they all have souls or spirits, and those need to be aligned. And and sometimes aligning the body can require medication. Sometimes it requires exercise. Sometimes it requires, you know, just not mistreating your body so much, drinking less. But the the, uh, the point is the alignment of those four. And and I learned through experience, because I didn't expect this to take, uh, that that was the, the formulation that worked the best when I was, like, trying to empty an, or empty an orphanage or if I was working with probation officers or social workers or people who, who hadn't, who don't have a particularly psychological mindset uh, this is a quick, easy, and effective way to start helping people in life take the next step in their life. So that's a thumb scale, a thumbnail of uh, tonalogia. Uh, or tonal tonalogia, tonalog how, do, how would you say it in English? I think tonalogia. Tonal tonalogia. And uh, just at the end, I'll, I'll briefly add that's a, that's in contrast to the Nagwa or, or the, the world of the unmanifest, the hidden, the creative, the source of everything. If you could just say maybe 30 seconds about the point I think might be the most confusing for people on hearing this, uh, soul or spirit. What attunement of that looks like, just very briefly. Well, we ask a person, well, what matters to you in life? See, see, people need work that's nourishing. People need work that has meaning. Some of us are lucky and we choose professions early that are, are designed for helping people. And, and we're very fortunate in many ways, but one of them is that we're not going to get outdated by the machines. Uh, 
like most professionals and most writers and, and white collar workers or whatever. <clears throat> and so what solar spirit, it depends on whether, if you're dealing with a Christian, it's easy. You know, if you're dealing with a Muslim, it's easy. But if you're dealing with someone who's an atheist or you're dealing with someone who's never been exposed to religion, and there's quite a few out there, or to spirituality, and there's more of them, or to uh, to some of the great books that we've been given, the Bible, the Quran, you know? If they're Indian, maybe the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, and so the soul is a way of pointing to the a larger question of what, wh why are you here? What gives you meaning? What, what do you care about? What matters to you? What gives you energy? What nourishes you? And then another question is how much does it pay? Right? Because you, you got to have both, right? And it can be done, but usually what that comes down to is the human touch on something because the machines can do everything else and they will do everything else. Uh, so does that answer it? Yes, that's helpful. If I might, let me just add one other feature of the model which is an ancient model and a modern one since, you know, I did it in like in the eighties, I brought it up and it, it took like wildfire in this uh, large uh, children and family mental health and social services organization I was in. But what I wanted to say was that, yeah, for, for those purposes and for professionals and for lay people, uh, we color code those uh, heart, Art is red, blue is the body, yellow is the soul, and green is the mind. Heart, mind, body, and soul. And so those are color coded. And then if uh, people are interested, this is mainly for social workers, but you can, uh, and psychiatrists and psychologists, you can map folks out with them as a collaborative exercise. And what you do is you draw out the reciprocal connection, the reciprocal connections on in in uh in both directions and then you can map out what a, a kid's or an adult's uh, uh interpersonal and inner life is like and and typically this is done with the with a kid or with a young adult or with an older adult and then uh, looked at it and once you've done a few you can read them like x-rays you can it's pretty extraordinary but let me let's stop on that right there because that's a little bit more specialized and let's let's make that a separate talk people don't want to know about that 